Hello everyone and welcome for the first match of the Summer Tournament 2023, Glory for Pizza. This is gonna be on for Prince of Persia 1 on MS-DOS and uh, the category will be any percent, no major glitches. So today we are gonna watch the second match on the round bracket here, but you can see it's gonna be Velcheran against Ayen because that's the first match that happened. So yeah, so on one side we will have Velcheran, which is like the seed number five. Is uh, any percent no major glitches? PB is a 19 minute six seconds run. That's really really good. And uh, as you can see for AN, uh, his PB is uh, non-existent. So yeah, AN is uh, well known for being a tasser of the game, but uh, not for being a real-time runner. So we will see how he will be able to fare against Velcheran, which is like one of the, uh, who is like one of the most uh, well-known member. And again, like is the still number five. So you can imagine that uh, yes, he is strong. So yeah, I hope that uh, you are all uh, ready for this. Up, I just have to do one small thing so that we can see this. Please, thank you. Tick, tick, tick. Okay, everything seems finally to be ready. Okay, so let's go with the match. All right. So we are Velcheran on the left side and uh, An on the right side. We can already that, see that AN is taking uh, this level a little bit more safe. But it's all good. So the NMG strat is to uh, lure that guard in this room so that you can just go behind him. Normally, like you would have to go to the left side of the, sc of the screen, go take uh, the sword, then go back and kill that guard. No, 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 no. That's not what we are going to do. But that strat can be a little bit risky. As you can see on Velcheran's screen. I just died on level one. <laughs> All right. So Ayan now is uh, ahead of uh, Velcheran, which is uh, pretty amazing. Like that guard is uh, way more to the left, so Ayan had no issue. He had no issue. But uh, in no major glitches, there is one component that is mandatory, is and it's uh, leaving the sound on. And uh, as we could see during this screen transition, Ayen did not leave the sound on. <laughs> so yeah, that's a kind of uh, a rule that exists for uh, history purpose. And uh, unfortunately, that means that uh, Ayen's run, at least like this start, is not okay. During this time, Valcheron was able to finally finish level 1. And so Ayen, realizing that he does not have the sun on and that it's mandatory, just restarted the run. So right now, Valcheron has a 1 minute lead, but it's gonna be fine. Because, you know, like this is Prince of Persia, and uh, in uh, this category, you have to deal with so many guards that you never know what will happen. So Ayen luring that guard again. During that time, Valcheran went past through the first guard in level 2, which is one of the most annoying guards to deal with. So yeah, really well played by him. Well, I was on level, two, but I to oh, level 2 is one of the toughest levels. It doesn't look like it, but uh, it is. And now he has to wait for the door to open. Perfect. You can see that he's switching position with the guard, so that's the main technique in uh, NMG. When you are close enough to a guard, you can switch position with them. But uh, there is several uh, outcomes possible, so like you have to really be careful. And often you just go, you strike them, and then you can run, run, run. Alright, tick. Ayan is back on level 2. Like, but Ayan, as a taskmaster, is able to go through that guard easily. 
While in the meantime, Vel finishes level 2. Ayen arrives to one of the toughest guards to deal with, but he handles it perfectly. But you know, let's just fight with him again. I think that, uh, you know, uh, Ayen wanted to make sure that the sun was on, so let's kill some guards. Because there is a little uh, jingle after killing a guard. Like, you could see, like, on Ayan's screen that, yeah, you really have to be near the guard for you to switch position with them. And so it can be really tricky, especially when you are not uh, experienced as a runner, uh, especially, like, no major glitch is runner or 100% runner. On Vulture's screen here, we can see that he restarted the level after getting the checkpoint. That's the only level with a checkpoint. So, yeah, that's pretty good. That can save up to 3 frames, so that game runs at uh, 12 frames per second. So, like, you save uh, basically like a quarter of a second, which is really, really good. Ayan yeah. taking the life upgrade potion, so now he has 4 HP. Pretty amazing. Tac. Vel is coming up with one of the toughest enemy, you know, you just jump past him and you say goodbye, really, really tough. Alright, coming up for Vel is level 4, and level 4 is a place where you can definitely die, especially at the end, because if you want to go fast, you do not kill the last guard. And if you don't kill the last guard, then you can uh, just um, die on them because you will only have like one HP. So first of all, making that tile fell down on the button to open the door. Ayan did not die on level 2, that's great, that's great. And now we are coming up to the last guard for Vel Sheeran. Oh, but Vel Sheeran just did a glitch. So when you do a glitch, uh, you have to restart the level. <laughs> so yeah, he jumped through the guard. So exchanging position when you have your sword out, you know, like during combat is okay. But jumping through a guard is a glitch. And that's also what you would expect from Velcheran because he is uh, the seed number 5 in NMG, but he is also uh, number 4 in uh, the any percent leaderboard and 7 uh, in uh, NMG. So, yeah, like that's where you can see like muscle memory really kicks in, and then, uh, oops, you do a small glitch. But it's all good, like this is planned, like in the rule, you can just restart the level. That's already a harsh penalty. Penalty. He lost like a minute easily. So yeah. <laughs> and why is it really uh, dangerous to not kill the last guardian level four? You will be able to see that right now Velcheran has three HP, and now he has only one. Because when your shadow is created here, you go back. To, you go to having only one HP. So yeah. All right, he, he was able to strike him before getting strike, and now he can proceed to level 5. <laughs> level 5 is also annoying, but uh, okay. it will mostly be fine. Like, after level 4, let's just say that it's, uh, you can breathe a little bit. Like, you, you can lose time here, but at least it won't be like, uh, like in level 4 where you lose a uh, minute 30 because you die at the end. So, AN starting level 4. Thinking, going in this room, this door opened because the tile fell on a button, and he's like, oh, there is a potion, so I'm going to take it. <laughs> and so now Ayen has 
Five HP. <laughs> Insane. He's going down. Okay. Pressing that button. But now there is this guard, so he cannot go to. Oh, Valsheran only has one HP. That can be dangerous. What will happen? Ayen fell. Good thing he has five HP. That's where you can see he was really smart to take all those life potions. Okay. Ayen trying to find his way in level four. You can see the Tasser, you know, like uh, he knows more room than anyone. But at the same time, playing them is something else. Ah, displaying wonderful combat on Ayan's part. And Velsheran is on the mid-game uh, mid boss battle. And that's it. <laughs> you just run, basically. And now level 7. Level 7 is where... I often say that the run truly starts because that's when that's where difficulty really ramps up. Like it's really really tougher than before. Ayan is dancing. He, he still doesn't know where to go, but it's okay. Remember that Ayan has no PB, so if he finishes this run, it's gonna be a PB. Up, back, Valsheran was able to get past through the first two guards. <laughs> wow, wonderful uh, timing by AN. Like he has, he had like really like a great reaction time. And Velsheran die on spikes. This run is far from over. Like this race, everything can happen right now. Velsheran st still took a damage here. Being at two HP at the beginning of level seven is never, never good. Oh, Ayan being smart, deciding to kill the guard to save some difficulty, and especially since killing him is less than 10 seconds. Definitely worth if you are not confident on the way back. For sure, for sure. So, will Velsheran die again to these spikes? No, he's taking the slow approach, but that's smart. Like, when you are in a match, like in a race, it's not always the one who can do all the strat that wins, but it's often the one that is the most consistent. So, you have to... Sometimes you have to do, like, slower strat, but consistent. And Ayan finished level 4. He was able to do it. Let's go. Up, Velsheran went uh, went uh, through Roberto without too much issues because Roberto is uh, the Gonda for this game. Oh, Ayan took a damage, but it's okay because he has five HP. Oh, oh, that guard did not fall, but it's okay. Good job, Ayan. Good job. Up, Vel finishes. Just finished like a level um, level seven. Now he's on to level eight, where he will meet Bruce. Will Bruce be his friend or not? Like, still deathless for Ayen. Okay, he got a little lost during level uh, level four, but it's okay. He still hasn't died, so that's pretty insane. Oh my God, that was so close! So yeah, the guard landed on top of him. And got pushed back in the pit, thankfully, because otherwise that would have ended badly. And then Ozzy has 1 HP. Velsheran went past, past uh, through Bruce like it, it was nothing. Up. See, Ayan being smart, refilling 1 HP. So, let's see. What will happen for this guard for Velsheran? Because that guard can be tricky. Okay. Okay, it's fine. Stopping here to drink a potion, yeah. Nice. Ayan went past through the last guard here. Perfect. And now he's going on to level 6. 
think. And if Velshiran die at the end of level 8, that's a huge time loss. So, you know, Ayan can still catch up. But more importantly, you can see that Velshiran is a favorite. He's confident. He, know what, he, he knows what to do. So, yeah, like, he doesn't hesitate. And you can also see that Ayan, despite his lack of... Uh, of experience running the game in real time is truly smart and knows everything about it. Oh, going to the mid boss battle for Ayan. During this time, Valcheron set up the mostly skip. Let's see if he gets it. Ooh, he lost time. He will not be able to do it damage less. He will have to slide under the door or jump. Sure, it works. And that's a deathless level 8 for Velcher 1. Wonderful. Ayan got two past the first guard in level 7 like it was nothing. They say it did to make that tile fall because... Why not? Level 9 for Velcher 1 is the longest level in the run. So it's the only one that is around 2 minutes. And uh, there is some tricky enemies. So let's see how he will deal with them. Oh, first one went flawlessly. Ayan is thinking about what to do in this room, apparently. I mean... Yeah, that's a room with a lot of traps. Like you have a button that closes the door, a button that opens it and spikes just in front of the door. Valcheran is coming up to one of the nicest tricks in NMG. You have to do a turnaround. Ah, he failed it. Unfortunate. Yeah, you do a turnaround. You make the tile fall to open the final door. Well, the final door that you have to open to get to the button that opens you like the end of the level. But uh, unfortunately, like his turnaround was a little too late, but he, he had like a good reflex and he was able to um, grab the, the ledge. During this time, Ayen is making us discover new rooms because no one is getting through this section, never, in any category. So yeah, hopefully we will be able to start an Ayen percent run where you have to take the same life upgrade potion as Ayen did this run and uh, you have to go through like the same path as he did in this level. And level 4 because why not? Hop, Roberto and Ayen, let's go. Hey, congrats to Ayen. So yeah, for people who don't know, Roberto has a one third of a chance of making you fall. One third of a chance he will try to attack and you have to react really fast. And one third of a chance he will be like, yeah, bro, just go through. And well, was Apple to get through here, level 9, no issue. While Ayan is finishing level 7. Valcheran decided to restart the level because he missed uh, that turnaround to grab that late. That's a smart decision. That turnaround is really important to get into a good position for this guard. Here he's gonna do some bunny hop to not alert the guard on the top so you can see that that guard is still looking left and thanks to that he will be able to just pass like this. Up, Ayan on Bruce. Ayan decide to kill Bruce so that's a strat that is 1.5 seconds faster when Bruce cooperates. He did not cooperate but whatever that was nice. Here is the only guard you have to kill in NMG for Velcheran. So, yeah. Fight went beautifully. Like, for a race, you cannot uh, expect much. But he took a damage from the Fallen Tile. Ooh, that's not good. You do not want to be at 2 HP here. So, yeah, like, he, he will have to take this slowly. 
you never know you never know but uh, but it's a good decision to take it slowly because normally like yeah exactly the strat is to take one damage by falling directly like on the left side but then you have to deal with the guard so yeah s smart adaptation on Velshaman part he knows he is ahead so he do not need to go overboard Up, and then dealing with this guy like it, like he was nothing. Stopping after every screen transition, like being a little bit scared, but it's okay. Let's see. Yeah, again. <laughs> Up, will Valcheran get hard jump? And he does. So yeah, like you can do through that bit with a well timed jump, but it's not that tough. But uh, sometimes you can fail it. Ayen killing that guard, but the guard is annoying, and he fell. Okay. Up. Ayen taking it a little bit too much long. Ooh, Velcheron almost died. Oh my God, that was so close. And Ayen is no, he's too slow. Okay, Velcheron was able to kill the guard at least, but oh my God, that was so close for Velcheron. And now Ayan, yeah, has to go back down and make the, the wall turn like on the right, then top, then left again because he was too slow. Yeah, level level 8 do, do not pardon you. Like, you have to be fast. There is no other way. And yeah, Valsheran arriving at the level um, 12 now. So I'm gonna be honest. Except if Valsheran do, uh, do a glitch, I think this is this race is over. At least as a race, but uh, it's okay. Because Ayen uh, can still... Uh, still hasn't died. And uh, he can still... Um, uh, how is it called? He uh, can still PB. Like, he just have to finish the game, basically. So, you have a... You have to finish your game under 35 minutes in this tournament but you know we can make some exception there and there depending on how it goes and uh, yeah since an had had to restart like his run you know like we are gonna be nice and uh, let him finish moreover like he's on tv pace so whatever happened you let him finish you know like you do not break a tv pace that would be way too mean Oh, Ayan fighting bad girl like a, like, like a pro. I also want to applaud Velshiran for not forgetting to do the NMG strat here. Because a lot of any person runner will just do like the screen wrapping. And I'm sure that at least one person will attempt to do it at some point. <laughs> before realizing, oh no, shoot, I shouldn't do it. Right. Will Ayan get mouseless? We'll see. Ah, I don't think he will. He's waiting way too long on those, on these uh, chompers. Let's see, Velcheran, no tiles. Ah, last! Yeah, last one got him. Unfortunate. That's for seconds time loss. And Ayan is waiting for the most. Let's see, what will be Velcheran's strat for Jaffa? Will it be a backstab? Will it be like the classic six-step switch after two jumps? We got the two jumps. Moss arrived. Six step. Hit him. In. And yeah, congratulations to Valsheran for winning, winning this one already. 22 minutes, 10 seconds. I think that's uh, a time that will be like around the average for this tournament. Like for most of the game, you definitely want to get around like 20 minutes, 21 minutes. And AN finishes. Level 8 in the meantime, wow, crazy. <laughs> so yeah, Velcheran did not hesitate. He, he, he was not, oh, Ian does not have experience. I have to, to, be, to be nice and all. No, 
he just went and crushed Ayen in that first game. But every level that Ayen is doing right now, every little bit of experience he is gaining will actually help him in the second round because this is the best of three. We, like the first one to win two games, win it, win it all. So yeah, he definitely will be able to go through. Uh, so now we'll just focus on AN as he's going through level 9. Level 9 is really not that easy, like, it, it's so long. That's really a level I do not like. Hop, AN not taking any chance, killing everyone he meets. <coughs> I like that, I like that, you know, you, you, you can feel that his rot is half 100%, half any percent. That's really like a good, uh, a good showing, I think, of what you can do in this, in this game. Like improvising strats like here, like, yeah, really, really, really good. Up, coming on to this one. Nice. Okay, okay. But again, like, that's where you can see that the life upgrade Ayen took were actually smart. He knew he would take damage in, in, in the latter half of the game, where the game, like, is really tough. He knew it. Like, he would have only, like, one HP otherwise right now. And you know what? Let's go get another life upgrade because, like, he's definitely taking the path here to get another one. And now he has 6 HP. You know, with 6 HP, there is no way you can die. You can deal with all the fight in this game. I'm sure of it. But nothing can stop you from dying like this. So unfortunately, Ayan has, has taken one of the cruelest deaths possible. Dying at the end of level 9 is so tough. But at least he was able to do a nice splotch on the ground, you know. But now he only has 5 HP. Oh. As we would say in French, C'est dramatic. It's so, so dramatic for him. But he's gonna be fine. We know he can be fine. So will he take the life upgrade again or not? Let's see. Because he was able to go through this one without taking damage. Like this guard. So let's see, let's see. Wow, you can see his reflex are extraordinary. A lot of runners, even after playing this game for a long time, have uh, have trouble dealing with guards. But Ayan is like, nah, it's okay. I can deal with them like they are my friends. And he completely destroys all of them. That's wonderful. Ooh, grabbing that ledge at the latest moment. Wonderful. So during that time, Valtteran can do his life, you know. Tack. Opening that door again, but it's fine, it's fine. Oh, taking one damage, it's okay. This guard pissed him, pissed him off. And 
and just kill him like this. Like killing a guard by making them fall just feels good. And he's gonna take the life of Gun again. He has to get ready for level 10 and 11. Plus Java. Let's hope that this time he does not die to a jump. To a misplaced jump. Especially since that jump is only used in any percent like the one he tried yeah because this is a glitch to disable that chomper so good thing he actually missed it so yeah okay not dying to that chomper great 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 okay that chomper can be scary that one he's taking it safe yeah that one is also scary. But again, like, Ian doesn't care. No one can stop him when it's about fighting. I hope that the next tournament will be 100% and then Ayen, we will see Ayen rising easily like to the top because he can fight like a pro. Like if it was only about fighting abilities in, in the game, I'm pretty sure Ayen will be like seed 1 or 2 right now. Fun way to go down but it's okay. Having to get through this one, okay. Boom. Pushing him. Oh, see? Like, it did not work slowly, so yeah. The guard on top looked right. If the guard looks right, you are dead, basically. Like, you will just arrive and die. Because he will hit you right away. Here, you have time to draw your weapon and exchange your position with him. So there is a fight now, but again, let's be honest. Oh, oh, oh. okay. Ayen is a master at fighting, so it's gonna be fine, right? Oh, blocking in on the right door. Easy peasy, safe strat, but smart strat. Ouch. But he took a damage, but it's okay. Up, visiting this room, you know, like you never know, maybe there was a, a gift or something. Maybe the guard forgot something, you know, like a, a donut or anything. You never know. That jump scared me <laughs> so much. Okay, okay, okay. One hit taken for two hits given is good. Nice, only two HP, one HP remaining. Ah, he's not in front of the door, so he did a happy jump, but it's okay. Too bad he could have skipped that jingle, like the end of level jingle can be skipped if you kill a guard just before. Like there is an overload of music basically, so as soon as the music for defeating the guard, defeating the guard uh, is over, uh, you just switch to the next level. And you will see it through this tournament for sure. Uh, Happy is telling me uh, in chat, he was in front of the door, the hitbox is just bullshit. Yeah, it is, it is, I agree, he was in front of the door, but for the game he wasn't. Making... How did that tile stay there, honestly? Like, 
that I was alone. This game is magic. You know, like, this is not a true physic. Okay, nice fight, nice fight. Okay, one more guard to deal with and then there is only Climbing, Shadow and Jafar. And rescuing the princess, of course. So let's see, will he be able to deal with that guard correctly? You have to jump, okay he jumped, go fast left, okay perfect, nice nice nice. Now there is only like the climb, honestly, I can try to, to do an Ikea strat as we say here, like uh, during the, the climb, but Holy moly, there is nothing to say during that climb. We can just say, yeah, like, if Vel didn't do Leech on level 4, he would have probably gotten a high 20 minutes run, which is, like, really good. Would have been, like, less than 2 minutes behind this PB, I think. So yeah, like that's uh, really not bad, not bad, not bad. Like for a first run, like especially, you know, like again, like this is only the beginning of the tournament. Okay, AN took the right path, all good. So yeah, like strong showing from Velcheran. He is not a favorite to win because Esteban exists, but he can be like a, a dark horse, like uh, definitely. And now we are gonna also have to ask ourselves, was he able to get enough experience to defeat Velcheran in the second round of this game. Like this match is getting hotter and hotter because we know Ayen can do better than this. He showed an incredible uh, solidity in front of guards. He just needs to improve like his muscle memory a little bit. And his luck is perfect, see? Like, no tiles. Now I just have to kill Jafar and it's gonna be fine. Let's see. And... 34-26 in game time. Be careful to not die. And yeah, let's go. Officially, Velcherman is taking that first game with a 22-10 against a 34-26. So like a 12 minute difference. But it's okay. Ayen will definitely fight from this. And uh, yeah. At least he was able to save the princess, you know, because... You have to finish this game under 60 minutes. Sometimes it can go really, really wrong. Okay. Unfortunately, Ayen was not able to uh, to plug his brain on uh, on Jafar, which is like the uh, the algorithm, like the program developed to do uh, to find strat in this game. But uh, he created. Okay, 
But yeah, he was really happy about getting sub 35 apparently. So it's all good in the end. And now we will be able to switch to game 2. And I'm sure it's gonna be way better. Will AN be able to beat his PB? Let's see. Right now. Oh. He tried to restart the level to skip the first jingle, but he missed. But Velcheron did not miss. So, Venna has a, a few seconds lead, but it's. As we saw earlier, like nothing is set in stone. Vel died on level 1, Vel did, uh, Vel did a glitch on level 4. Okay, good movement from Velcheran. Ayan is not too far. Vel took it safe this time with the guard. You know, you never know what will happen. Up and Ayan as well. Okay, so they both went through level one this time. And let's see. Let's hear. Let's see like the transition between the level. And this time Ayan did not disable sound. So. His level is valid, he will not have to restart the run. We have a race going on. Let's go. Okay, dealing with first. Oh my god, Ian is taking all the risk right now. He's playing that one perfectly. Like he's on Velcheron style. Ooh, Ayan almost—he's uh, almost dead. One HP versus one HP. Okay, he did not die. Wow, that was so close for Ayan. During that time, Valcheran is like, "Yeah, you know, I'm just taking some vacation, meeting some friends." Okay, Ayan taking this potion is smart. That's a potion that is really fast to take. And that guard can hit you really badly. Okay. <sighs> Ayan was so close to death right, right there. But it's gonna but it's gonna be okay in the end. So all good, all good. Okay, I'm done with two. And Ian is, isn't taking the life of great this time. He really wants to catch up to Velcheron with, who is already like at the beginning of level 3. Wow. Such a, such a courageous move. He knows he can do better. He knows he now has the experience. And he knows that Velcheron can do a glitch at any moment. Because let's be honest, if we just go by experience, Valcheran is way stronger than AN. But that experience may lead to Valcheran's downfall. And AN has to bank on it. He has to take some he has to take some uh, some risk. He has to not take the same life potion as he did during the first game. Wonderful, they are no both both of them are on the same level. Alien fell oh It's okay, it's okay, it's only one HP. Okay, it's only one HP. It's level three, it's good. It's better to take a fall here than it is to take it in the later level where there is some guards to, to fight. Because here like you can just keep the skeleton the skeleton like Velcheran just did. Perfect, perfect. Okay, Velcheran just finishes level 3. Ayan is coming up to the checkpoint area. 
but he isn't restarting the checkpoint. That's smart because if you restart too early, you have to restart the level. Once again, let's not forget this is a race. So safe strat equals smart strat. Oh, Velcheron missed the tile and he missed it again. Yeah, he had to walk at this point. He definitely had to bonk. Oh, this time Ayen jumped over the skeleton, saving him a ton of time compared to his previous run. Oh, this time Velcheron was able to not jump through that guard. He, he didn't do a glitch. Perfect, perfect. He's keeping his lead. Okay. Ayan just said hi to the guard on the right, you know. We never see him, so he's a nice guy. And he is doing the AN% percent rot where you go at the bottom, meet this guard to open the door. Nice, nice. We love it. We love when players are using like different rot. Velcheron was able to go through the last guard. It was really tedious, but he was able to do it without dying and that all that matters. Wow, and perfect movement on the first guard of level 5 for Velcheron. Great, good, great. Ooh! Okay, Ayan only has 1 HP right now. Ooh! That's bad. Oh, Velcheron taking a damage here because he did not grab the ledge. Okay, Ayan. <sighs> Waiting for the guard to attack. Parry attack, parry attack. And he runs. That means he will have to deal with the guard on his way back. He's taking all the risk right now to be close to Velcheran. Wonderful. I know he can do it. Let's see how it will go. Okay, Valcheran, no issue here. Ah, Ayan is smart. Taking that potion here. So now he has 2 HP for that guy. That's smart. And he's waiting for him. And he's, he's hurrying him into the next room. Oh my god, he's, he, he took one damage. Will he die? Oh, wonderful combat abilities once again from Ayen, being able to go through that guard that killed so many runs. That guard killed so many attempts. Amazing. And Valcheran is going through level 7, like I could not even focus. I don't know how it got past the first guard and the second guard, but it's all good. It's all good. Oh, that was so close from Ayen. Wow, wow, wow. Valcheron taking it safe here. Ayan arguing with that guard. Putting his word away before the guard fell. The disrespect. The disrespect. Wow. Hey, he dies! Okay, Valcheron was able to go to Roberto, but then Ayan just Splotch on the ground! Incredible! Like, he was able to go through that guard and then he just missed the jump. Wow, 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 wow. Whew, that match is 
hot. Valcheran is like consistency itself. Like we should rename, rename him consistency Sheran. Okay, 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 okay. Ian dancing with the guard. Valcheran on Bruce, skipping Bruce easily. Ooh. So tough for Ian. Okay, okay, nice, nice, nice. He was able to not get damage, so now he won't have to take this potion. Is definitely on PV pace compared to his previous run. This can even be a sub 30 run. We will see. Oh, yeah, killing that guard. Wonderful, wonderful. Okay. Velcheran coming up onto a tough guard. Okay, one damage. It's okay. One damage is okay. You can always drink this potion as he did before. But the guard is following him. That guard is following him. Now he, he has to defeat him. Wow! <laughs> that was close! He, he almost took damage. If he took damage there, that would have been for naught. Like he would have lost everything. Yeah. Well, there is still one more potion to drink, but still. Like here, like on the top, here on the left, you can drink a potion. Okay, Ayan struggling with the mid boss. Ayan luring the meat boss. <laughs> okay, good. Now you can go on to level 7. Will Velcheran be able to do a damageless mouse skip this time? <sighs> Velcheran went too far. He went too far, let's see. Okay, yeah, not taking any risk. Killing that one. And doing a standing jump. Yeah, smart, smart. Once again, safe strat are smarts in a race. And damage less mouse keep, let's go! Wonderful! Well played by Velcheran. Oh, Ayan missed the button! Too bad! But it's okay, he was able to adapt quickly. And you can see how much Ayan improved compared to his previous run. And this time he's not going the down route, he's going the upper route. Wow! Adapting his strat and his route. Velcheran almost fell. That was crazy. That was such a risk. He wanted to save that 0 0.5 seconds. Ah, Roberto was not nice to Ian. It's okay. You can just kill him. Like that. But unfortunately, like that's uh, 9 seconds time loss. What you have to take. Will Velcheran be able to do the, the turn? Nah. But once again, he grabs a ledge like in the first uh, the first game, so it's all good. Again, not taking any risk. Whew. And he's gonna finish level 7. Okay, Valcheran stealing going to the end of level 9 once again, the longest level in the run. Ayan meeting Bruce, Valcheran going down to the two chompers and last guard on level 9. Okay, Ayan still wanting to kill Bruce. 
Oh, Bruce hit him. Okay, he was able to go through. And Velcheran was like, yeah, no. Bad guard is not my problem. Okay, Ayen taking that potion. Ayen, what is wrong with you? That's the second time this run. Do you like to jump and splash on the ground? Ah, it's okay, it's okay. Oh, getting damaged by Bruce already. Not good. It's okay, you are still on PV pace again. During this time, Vel is going normally. Okay, he's taking a damage here, but that can happen. Okay, Ian. Let's see. He was able to grab. Let's go. He can do it. So, right now, Ian has a low chance of winning, of course. But let's still believe in him. We know he can do it. Why? Because at any point, you can just plug Jafar in and finish the game right away. We believe in his ability to cheat. And even if he does not cheat, whoa, that's really tough for Velchiran. Even if he does not cheat, he can still PB. And that's what matters. And Velchiran died! Ooh, that's a tough one, once again. That's where you can see that NMG is never over. Because you can die to random shit like this. Hey, not taking the potion is like, yeah, whatever. You know what? Earlier, I took all the potion in the world. But this time, I will take no potions. Hmm? Hopefully, it will not be too slow this time and the door will uh, stay open. We will see. <laughs> Velcheran doing his revenge match against that yellow guard. So, yellow guard. Okay, okay. Ayan trying to kill the guard on the button. Failing? <laughs> yeah, he is not on the button. Okay, Velcheran did not die. So, no. Okay, let's go, let's go. That should be fine. That should be fast enough. That was fast enough. Okay, Velcheran is setting up to kill the guard this time. So, yeah, this is to skip like the jingle music for, at the end. And go to the next level faster. Well, well done from Velcheran. Like, this is really not easy. And A.N. kill that guard. As always, the Ayen is like the terminator of this tournament now, killing all the guards he's, he's seeing. Will Ayen be able to do mouseless? Let's see. Velcheron almost fell, but he was able to grab that ledge. Ah, uh, Ayen playing it safe. We cannot blame him, but that's what he has to do. And Ayen died on this chomper while taking a careful step. I have never seen that before. I have never seen that. Oh my god, here goes the sub 30 for sure. He was definitely on pace for it. I do not understand what happened. Okay, here he took a damage and he was like, yeah, no. Let's restart the level. Wow. Okay, this time Valcheran did not have, did not had, uh, did not have, ah. Any issue with this guard, so yeah, great compared to last run. Valcheran is definitely getting a better time than before, even with dying on uh, on the previous to last guard in level uh, 10. But man, that's so unfortunate for Ayen. Honestly, he got robbed. The game robbed him. Like, that's a robbery, and trust me, I know... I know I'm able to identify a robbery correctly, yeah. Okay, it's only, only the frames are late when it comes. So, uh, yeah, unfortunately, I think that Valcheran is gonna win this one. Ayen got robbed by the game. I think. Yeah, and 
Up. Will Velcheran do a glitch? No, he did not. Ah, oh, that was such a brutal death for AN. But he can still PB. So let's support him for him to get a PB. Velcheran cannot PB, of course, because like his PB is really, really good. But once again, like AN as a tasser of this game. Like he is a tool assisted speedrun master of our community. And this time the guard is dead on the button. So the doors, the two doors will stay open. Okay. Let's see. Okay, Ian taking it safe. Velcheran is like, no, I got hit by a tile. Screw you, game. I restart the level. Ooh, Velcheran will probably get a sub 21. Oh, Ian going for fast strat. Wonderful. Oh my god. He's so bad. He's getting so robbed. But he's like, okay, game, I will just play like a god now. So that you cannot steal me from again. And yeah, 2050 for Velcheran. Wow, wonderful, excellent time. Once again, as I said before, I truly think that this is going to be like the average of the tournament. So yeah, if you want to perform well in this tournament, you have to be able to get around the 20 minutes time. Okay, this time the prince stopped before the chomper. Nice. Ian took it safely. He was right to do so after getting robbed. Okay, Mouse is opening the door. And now only 11, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13 left. All right. Again, can definitely still PB because let's not forget that he died on this level on the previous run. But he can still like uh, not die here, and you know, like since level nine is longer than level eight, that will even out. It will even save a little bit of time. Really good first guard. Wow. And Ian is like, yeah, you know what? I don't care, no, I will only strike the guard once and go away. You can see him getting more confident as time goes. And that's good that this tournament is double elimination. So that means that even with his defeat right now, yeah, AN will not be out of the tournament because I'm really curious about how much this match will let him like improve and be able to go through, like to survive in the loser bracket. I truly believe AN will be able to surprise us and stay alive in the loser bracket. Sorry, second chance bracket. Forgot that it got renamed. <laughs> okay, new strat here. Apparently you stop on the falling tide and you do a careful step, then grab the ledge. <laughs> that was so scary. Okay, up. Nice. Yeah, striking only once and then running, no. Ayan is becoming a real time runner right now. Like, 
Can you believe how lucky you are, people? You are witnessing the birth of the future world record holder for this game. Even grabbing ledges when doing a turnaround. Wow, crazy, crazy. Okay, now you just have to not die to that chomper and to that last guard. Okay. Because now he only has 3 HP. Oh my god, the lure was flawless. He totally juked that guard. It's going not dying in level 10 will definitely means this can PB, like this will PB probably. Okay. Ayan doing the same strat as before, crouching at the time the prince is falling. So that the prince stays in the air, you know, style points for sure. Ayan deserve like a lot of points for that, because that was stylish. Now it's time for Z fight against the yellow guard. The yellow guard. Again, still waiting for him. Okay, this time he won't. <sighs> Taking one damage, that's bad. He will not put him back on the right side, but it's okay. 2 HP against 3, 2 against 2, 2 against 1. Let's go, still having 2 HP, that's great. Still looking if the guard didn't leave a donut here. Really important. Because you know, like, the winner of this tournament will win a pizza, but... Until you win the pizza, you still have to eat something and, yeah. Eating a donut seems good. Oh, 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 hey, do not jump, do not jump, he jumped. <laughs> ah, yeah, that game seed box, it boxes like, ah, uh, yeah, they exist, and that's a problem. Building speed and boom. Up, crouching to avoid the tile damage. That's a great strat that is even like given to you like in the pop two manual. <laughs> he almost ran onto the spikes. He was like one step away. <sighs> yeah, you have to go right, otherwise this happened. But good thing he was able to have the reflex to press shift, otherwise he would have died. Bad pattern, 1 HP, fall, okay, he fell, oh, hopefully he's not too much left, I think it's fine, but yeah, see, you can see how much his movement improved, like he grabbed that ledge, saving these few frames, yeah, no, it's, it's fine, it's fine, see, that sword was like, at least, Three millimeters away from the print. Right, 
final climb shadow and jaffa this this is a good time this is a good time once again like for someone who do not run the game originally it's a really good time Still has nothing to uh, to say. Uh, I still have nothing to say. Like during the final climb, it's the most boring section in the game. But can be interesting when people are. Oh oh oh. Okay no. He he almost went up. And to do like the screen wrap. Good thing he realized and did not do it. That was close. Really, really close. He would have killed like a, an easy PB. All right, time for the shadow. As long as you do not fall here uh, on the invisible bridge, it's okay. Yeah, yeah he's waiting for the merge once again, smart. Come on. Yeah, no, no way he would have been able to avoid this one. He's gonna do it. He can get a sub 31 maybe. This is gonna be close. He can do it. PB for Ian, like two BB in one day. Oh, oh! Sub 31, let's go! Congratulations to A.N. Getting his second PB of the day. Congratulations to Velcheran for obliterating A.N. 2-0. Ah, and thanks to that, A.N. now has a run on the leaderboard. That is not last place, ladies and gentlemen. It's previous to last. But once again, trust me, in the second chance bracket, I'm sure A.N. will be able to turn this around. Because he definitely has the skill for it. He definitely show, showed us his improvement. Like I'm pretty sure his next run will be sub 30. And maybe the one after that will be sub 25. I believe in A.N. And Velsheran was able to show us how consistent he is at this game and that he is a serious dark horse f to win this tournament of course he is not the favorite but he showed that if anyone show any weakness any weakness he will beat them sure of this he's sure of that so no Let's look at the layout, at the bracket now, so we can see that A.N. is now in the second chance bracket on the bottom left. And Velsheran will play against Higlak. You do not know who Higlak is? So he is the seed 4 for this tournament. But more importantly, he is the world record holder for the any person category. So, no one can beat him when it's about using glitches. Will he be able to translate his current expertise to the no measure glitches category that he ran a long time ago? We will see in the round two. For AN, in 
he now has like a little bit of rest as he is gonna play in the second chance bracket against the loser of the match that will be against me, 7 versus 7, and either Excel or Kenshin Drake. So like the loser of the match number 8. So we will see what happens. Thank you for watching everyone. I hope that you enjoyed it. And hopefully all the matches will be as hype as this one. Thank you very much and bye bye.